All right, so the very first thing I want to know, I want to say when I, as I go live here is still not feeling well. Uh, not quite sure how long this video is going to last. Now, normally you see me drinking like my soda or my sparkling water, I guess. But uh, tonight it's a uh, basic chamomile tea that I have here, which smells utterly delicious to be honest with you. So uh, <clears throat> no milk, no sugar, just straight chamomile the way that it should be. Hey Carlos, no bubbly tonight, I'm not feeling well, and bubbly would go really bad on my stomach. Uh, without getting into it, I just, let's just say I've had a lot of pain, and I can't, I'm on a very specific diet right now. Uh, it hurts to move in certain ways. Anyway, you, you didn't come here for that. 101 Films, so 101 Films, I actually did a video on their sale uh, a while back, and during that video, some uh, some people on here actually did some orders for one-on-one -on -one films and hopefully they've gotten theirs i just got mine today i'm actually extremely excited about it and i kind of wish that i had ordered more uh, if you watched my last video i hope that some of you went out and picked up some of those 88 films that during the sale now just to let you know the one on one film sale is also still going on uh, it'll be going on there now until the end of january the extended their sale and uh yeah so I got six one one film titles to show you. Uh, four, and these are my first one one film titles. Now, before I made this video, I did watch one of the movies so that I could give you an idea on like the you know quality, all that type of thing. And uh, it was, it, I was pleasantly surprised. So we're going to get into it, get into the packaging, the way that it's done, the type of films they put out. If you haven't seen one one films before, this is kind of a primer for you. If you have, congratulations. Uh, but uh, it's kind of a primer for me too. So let's do this. These, the first four I got are from the Cult Movie Collection. And uh, the Cult Movie Collection is, uh, I like that. I like that they have a label. I love, I'm a sucker for movies that are uh, like, kind of like uh, 80 films that they're slasher classics collection and their Italian collection, all this stuff. I am a sucker for, uh, for labeled collections. And uh, it makes me want to buy more of them. Now this one isn't numbered, so I, not, I don't have to be totally OCD on that. But, uh, First up is Firewalker with the with Chuck Norris and Lou Lou Gossett Jr. So uh, actually, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. My better half uh, actually chose this one. Uh, now the cult movie collection pretty much it's a uh, is pretty uh, standard in the fact that uh, not really a lot of features. You might have like a trailer or something on there, but it's basically dealing with getting you the uh, the film itself, and uh, they're pretty decently priced. So I and uh, Things that you know, definitely be wanting to check out. Firewalker. My better half looked at the trailer. She said, I want that one. On the inside, I like the fact that it's not just the uh, the poster. It's actually like a kind of a, a picture from the film itself. These little touches actually mean a lot to me. Um, so often you'll see like a company and they'll just, this will be here. And this will be on the disc on the inside too. <clears throat> it's pretty standard. It's pretty formulaic. Uh, I like the little touches here. I like the uh, the kind of the the banner that they use there. I love the uh, the one one films logo and the kind of the the year right there, 1986, when uh, when this movie came out. Now this one is region based for people that uh, that want to know. Now these don't have like uh, reversible covers. Some of them that we do that we're going to look at will have reversible covers. But it's the first one I picked up was Firewalker. If anybody's seen this or like this one. Try comment I'm commenting because. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Next up is uh, one that I, I really kind of dig. And uh, this is a video game movie. And we all know the, uh, the perils of video game movies. Oh, it's still hot. I got to let it uh, like steep a bit. But uh, this is super cheesy fun. It's one that I just personally have fun with. And is it like a good movie? No, I wouldn't say it's a good movie, but it's 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 a fun cult movie. And that is Double Dragon with... Uh, <clears throat> uh, that's Mark Dacascus there and... What's his name again? I gotta, I'm going to peek on here. I think it's Scott. Yeah, it's the guy from Party 5, Scott Wolf. Uh, we have the Terminator, Robert Patrick there <laughs> as, the, as the main bad guy. And like uh, just like the other ones, he actually shows a, a film 
like a, a scene from the film on the disc on the inside, something that I do appreciate. I actually really appreciate the fact that it's not one of the scenes on the back either, so it's not actually mirroring the front or the back. It's actually, you're actually getting a film scene on the disc itself. That's a, it's a little touch, but I just really like it. And like the other one, this one here I think is region B as well. Yeah, so this one is region B. So if you got a region free player, if you're in the UK, uh, you can definitely pick this up. Again, like it's going to be feature free, but a good way to try with Double Dragon. Say if you wanted to get the the one that's coming out, the I think it's MVD Rewind. It's playing with Double Dragon, right? Uh, if you want to like look into getting the MVD Rewind, but you're not quite sure if you want to pay the pay the pay the bone, you know, like dole the bones that's going to cost for uh, for uh, some of those releases. This is a great way to get the film, to get the film, to watch it, see it, see if it's it's, it's your kind of, if it's your bag, as Austin Barge will say, see if it's something you would dig. Uh, it's a fun, like, action, kind of cheesy film. Uh, <clears throat> has very little to do with the uh, with Double Dragon, the video game. See my cat there in the background behind me, like, photobombing me. I got to thank everybody that came in for last night's 880 film video. That was, uh, <clears throat> hopefully it didn't show, but I was in immense pain while I was making that video. Uh, but I, uh, I wanted to, uh, to get that done because I had been wanting to do that one for a while. Now, next up is a, uh, is probably the one, one of the ones that got me to buy from 88 films, 80 films, sorry, 101 films. And, uh, that is this one right here because I really wanted this film. Uh, it's one that I like back from the VHS days. The last time I've seen it is back in the VHS days. So I'm kind of interested in watching this one again. Now, the thing about it is, though, is that I, I haven't seen it since the VHS days, and I don't want to watch this one with my better half. She's out of town right now. So I'll wait, be waiting for her definitely for this one, that double for those three, because we like these type of films. We like the cheesy action uh, sci-fi films, and especially when they've got Mr. Rutger Hauer in it. Uh, this is Split Second. I remember really, really liking Split Second when I was, uh, when I was younger. I thought this was kind of a really cool, kind of like a sci-fi monster action flick. Uh, with uh, one of my favorite actors, Rutger Hauer. Uh, if you've never seen this movie, I, I definitely do recommend it. It's got a decent cast, too. you got Kim Cattrall in this one as well. Uh, Michael J. Pollard is in this. He's a great character actor. Um, if you've never seen this movie, yeah, this is one of the ones that when I mentioned the, the 101, the 101 film sale to everybody here like about a couple weeks ago, uh, this is the movie that most, that most people picked up. This was like this was on probably on everybody's list of ones that they picked up. This was included with that uh, with that list. Hey Jacob, how's it going, man? I'm doing my 101 films collection. I will show the ones that I've previously showed at the end again, so you won't miss out on those. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, split second with Rutger Hauer. If you've never checked this out, it's a really cool one. Basically, uh, you got this. Uh, what's his name? Stone. Yeah, Harley Stone. Uh, you know, one of those manly action names. Uh, Rutger Hauer plays this uh, this kind of this, I think it's a cop, kind of, yeah. And uh, he's searching this, uh, searching for this killer. Little does he know that it's like, uh, it's an alien. And uh, it's like cool, kind of like, I guess, predator-ish, savage, monster type alien. And again, just so you guys can see, the also here, take a, uh, like, you know, a picture from the movie itself, rather than putting the, you know, the cover art on there. Or any of the pictures on the back. That's something that I do appreciate. Little touches like that, like win me over. Uh, just make it a little, make your company a little different. Just do something a little bit different, uh, and I'm and I'm there for it. Now, everything I've shown so far, I've shown so far, has been pretty much, you know, aside from like, hey, Rich, uh, aside from like the uh, like trailers, really, are are pretty uh, are pretty free of uh, of any features. Now, this one here, unfortunately, got little. Uh, dinged on the inside uh, and that is the Lou Fringo collection I had to get this I've got the Sinbad one from uh, Kino when they put it out but Hercules and Hercules 2 if you've never seen these movies they are super cheesy and uh, for bad movie aficionados if you like Z-grade like movies and you like the these kind of these fantasy sword and sandal type of films you're definitely going to get a kick out of Hercules uh, yes it does have Silva Danning in the first one I think it is Antonio Margarete, actually. Uh, I'd have to look. Let me just let me just look here. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> the Adventures of Hercules.
Lou Fringo. So let's find out. Actually, Luigi Cosi did the uh, first one. Let's see if we can find the second one there. Sinbad was done by... Oh, Castellaro, Castellari. Enzo, the one who did the... Uh... Where's the second one at? And the other Hercules one is done by... Actually, I think they're both done by Luigi Cosi. If I, uh, if I got this correct. The Adventures of Hercules and Hercules. Yep. So Cozy, otherwise known as Lewis Coates. That's his name here in the... Uh, well, that's his fake name. He's his nom de plume. And uh, he, uh, he made these here. Uh, they're fun films. They're really cheesy. This is a movie that you've probably seen like clips of where uh, Lou Frigno throws a bear into space. Uh, you know, or some nature. Uh, yeah, so this is that movie. So if you've only ever ever seen that clip, because you know a lot, it's been taken much like Troll Two. People remember that he's eating her <laughs> uh, clip and uh, and a lot of that stuff. But uh, yeah, this is the one that has the uh, the bear being thrown into outer space. Now there's two of the fil two films. Uh, Silva Danning's in this. Don't expect to see Silva Danning the way you know you'll see her like scantily clad, but you're not going to see her naked in this. Uh, Lou Fringo was a very kind of a kid friendly actor. Uh, he did want to make sure that his movies were accessible to a family audience. So, although they did want to have nudity and stuff in the films, he actually uh, he actually nixed that uh, pretty early on. And I'm a huge fan of Silver Danny. I was a little bit disappointed in that when I first saw this film. But it is a fun, cheesy film. They can be watched by the whole family. And uh, the the effects are horrible, uh, but it is great. It is, it, is, it, is, it is a bunch of fun. I'll open it up for you. Now, sadly... You know, this did come in a mailer. The uh, this part right here kind of broke off, so I'll look to get like a different, uh, get a new one, uh, get a new case for this. But uh, each it's not on one film or anything, on one disc or anything like that. So Hercules, The Adventures of Hercules two, and Sinbad each get their own disc. So I actually really like that. And as you can see, as you know, every one of them got their own little like picture from the uh, from the movie as opposed to just like having like one of the like the uh one of like poster art. some people like the poster art and i think that it's really cool for certain things but the fact that they go in a different direction with it is something that i really do like so actually i'm a really huge fan of that i uh i was tempted to get the nemesis collection especially now that i know that mvd put a nemesis on its own and then they put a nemesis two three and four and on a different one i kind of want to get the nemesis collection uh through one one films um I've got a I've got a trip coming up. I didn't even buy the Halloween that came out today because I I'm saving up for that trip. But still, and like you know, contains mild violence threat. Uh, it's you know it was rated 12 in the UK, so it's pretty uh it's pretty standard. It's a pretty fun film, and I'll I'll probably be reviewing those films in the uh, in the near future as a part of another uh, video because I really do think that uh, those are really fun cheesy films. Now I got two more to show you. Now these guys are a little bit more loaded, a little bit more packed. Uh, I'm gonna leave my my favorite one for for last one that I actually did watch, but this one I want to show you first, and the cover is freaking gorgeous. Uh, I love the way they got these done, and this is Stone Cold. If you've never seen this movie, the uh, Brian Bosworth he was like a football player. They tried to make a like a big action hero out of him, and it actually doesn't do too bad. Lance Henriksen is actually in this movie. It's got a really decent cast, uh, much better than you than you actually think it's gonna be. It's a fun like actioner. Uh, definitely not like the horrible film that, uh, that a lot of people think William Forsyth is in this movie. Uh, you know, great bad guys in, uh, in Stone Cold. And I love this cover. I love this cover. This is their, uh, this is what's called their Red Label series. So the Red Label series, I uh, know this one usually has some kind of thing with it, whether it be like features, trailers, but mostly Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, this is pre Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, De Catan. And welcome, by the way. I didn't see you come in here. Uh, so on the inside of this one here, so you're going to see first. I'll show you the uh, the picture, like there's going to be because there's always a picture with these here. And uh, but what's also really cool cool is they actually have a uh, other reversible artwork on these, which I do kind of dig. But uh, what I really dig about this, aside from the fact that I finally got Stone Cold in my collection, I've been wanting this movie for a long time actually. 
uh, that not, that's not that's not hyperbole that that's the truth uh, there's a poster and it's not any of the work uh, any of the art from there so you people thought like I think they thought the art was gonna be that kind of that cool thing but it's actually different and I really like it uh, I actually really really like it so this is actually the uh, the poster that kind of the poster I remember for uh, for Stone Cold So it actually does kind of look like a theater style poster drug sex and murder this gang was game for anything tell them about a cop who'd stop at nothing and you know and and what's really cool it's done just like a uh, just like just like a, a movie poster we got all the all the just not the we got all the credits down there i really dig that because usually you'll see like when they do posters like an arrow do posters and other things what we get is we get like a uh is we just get the picture right and like that's fantastic but the fact that they go a little they go that extra mile and they actually give you like a movie poster with all the uh, the credits down below uh i actually really dig that i was really 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 pleasantly surprised with the fact that the that they did their posters like that i now want more posters from uh from 101 films they just did an amazing job uh bloody sexy package uh, that that's that, that's what i have to say about this uh if you don't have it and the sale is still on right now by the way and these are going for really really cheap i think this one was uh i'm gonna go to one-on-one -on -one film site there i got one more to show you guys by the way and then i'll go back and show uh show to the guys that basically just got on here and did not see my uh first stuff i'm gonna go so let's go to one-on-one -on -one films because there's a and they got a black label too and i really am interested in checking out the black label now But this one was like I think like five or six pounds like maybe less uh, Stone Cold was probably around five or six pounds I'm trying to find the, uh, the sale okay let's go to the sale there we go so yeah this one here I think was about yeah it was four pounds actually so that's actually super super good price for this for the movie uh, you know the poster uh, just reversible sleeve just, just the way that it's done uh love this i'm a huge fan of this movie by the way so if you like brian Botts, if you like mullets and <laughs> and like you like movies with like action movies with like with really good bad guys hey entertain wizard uh did you did you partake of the one-on-one film so because this is sexy as hell hell man I'm, i gotta show these again at the end now next up is uh and last but not least is the reason i actually ordered from the sale in the first place and i'm gonna have to take the sticker off because it's uh it's uh kind of oh dude it's really cheap uh i'm and i'm not even joking we're talking like about like three or four pounds like six i think eight pounds was the most expensive one in the uh in the sale uh and i got this one and this i'm super excited about i watched this one tonight uh great presentation of the film I list, I'll watch the deleted scenes as well, which were, which were awesome. Uh, and this is Amazon Women on the Moon. If you don't know this movie, my God, please know this movie. Uh, it is awesome. And as like it says at the beginning of the film, starring lots of actors. Uh, oh, nice. I'm, I'm waiting on the Halloween 2018 one because I know that's going to be one of those. Uh, I know a lot of people are grabbing it right now. I did see it in the theater. And I know that come Black Friday, Boxing Day, that that puppy's gonna be one of the ones that's gonna get on price so I'm, I'm i'm thinking smart this time around i think uh you, what sort of is the amazon women on the moon sold out i don't think is it really oh you're talking are you talking about the halloween one halloween one i love the movie but i'm waiting on it and i really do i'm not as rich as entertainment wizard oh it's steelbook i'm not uh I'm not super big on steelbooks, so uh, so this one's dual format. I'll show you the inside in a minute, but it is getting to me that I got to get the sticker off here. I'm gonna see if I can get off now. I probably should wait to get some like uh, gluey gun or something like that. Yeah, I'll wait on that. You're a steelbook person, right? Been a while since. See, that's the same thing here. I've been wanting to see this for ages. Uh, I'd never seen it on. I, I watched it back in the day on VHS. Again, this is another one on VHS. <laughs> Uh, I, I like I'm hoping that I'm a sucker for reversible covers 
So that's that's the thing with me and steelbooks is that I, I like them when I get them, but I'm a sucker for a reversible cover. I know that Halloween doesn't have a reversible cover, so it's not going to matter. But I'll, I'll figure out whichever one's the cheapest when I go into the store that has the most features. That's what I'll grab. Uh, but this has a few directors on it. John Landis directs on this one. Peter Horton, uh, Carl Gottlieb, uh, Joe Dante, uh, Robert Wise is one of the directors of this film. And they really do have like a great cast in this film. This here is like is you know some of the cast. And just to, to go through a couple of people here, we got Roseanne Arquette, Paul Bartel, Ralph Bellamy, Carrie Fisher, Sybil Danning, Griffin Dunn, Stephen Force, Monique Gabriel, Steve Allen, Steve Gutenberg, Ar Arsenio Hall, Howard Hessman, Lou Jacoby, Ed Bagley Jr., Russ Meyer, uh, Kelly Preston, Henny Youngman, B.B. King. And of course David Allen Greer, the man with no soul. Ed Simmons, the man with no soul. Uh, it's uh, it's one of those kind of like those, those kind of skit ones. Um, I love the way that this is done. Now this one, uh, I think originally it was supposed to have like a poster with it. I didn't get a poster with mine. I think the poster was kind of like when people bought it, like pre-ordered it and they about got a poster with it. But it does come with this booklet, which is actually kind of cool. So uh, there's a, a booklet with this one here as well. And just to let you know, there's one uh, to the moon and back with uh, Callum Waddle. And uh, there's an interview on here. And there's one here by... Uh, an interview with Ira Newborn by Philip S. Scott. Um, what's really cool is the interview here is with uh, Sybil Danning, so who is super, super gorgeous in this film. As you can see, a lot of big actors in this film. Kelly Preston is in this film in an extremely funny skit uh, that I actually, it's like every like teenage boy's worst nightmare, uh, what happens in that skit, and I just, super liked it now just like you know there's some nudity in this film uh some impressive nudity but uh definitely worth seeing one of the kind of it and it's very silly fun it's uh, it's very light very easy to watch uh it flies by really fast and there's this this is from the uh, from the, the skit that kind of recurring one called bullshit or not hosted by henry selva and uh, this is what if the loch ness monster <laughs> is jack the ripper uh, no, I'm not. I'm not even making that up. That's a thing in this film. Uh, it's uh, it's super fun, uh, super uh, super cheesy, and it is a. This one does have a, uh, a dual format, a DVD, Blu-ray combo. I'll just take out the DVD and Blu-ray here to show you guys the uh, alternate artwork, which you can see anyway because it's on the booklet. But uh, there you go. Is the other alternate art for Amazon Women on the Moon, and of course that there is Steve Forrest, and. Uh, I think George Travolta. Black Christmas is six pounds. See, it, and I, I kind of want every version of Black Christmas. You know me, Dave Katana. You know I do. Uh, there's, there's a ton of stuff on there. Now, is this region locked? Uh, this one right here. Let me just check for you, man. It does look to be region locked. Uh, it is uh, region B, and you know DVD is region two. Now DVDs are obviously easy to unlock. Uh, you know we all know how to do that. <laughs> how to do that or you can just put it in your computer man uh, but the blu-ray itself would be region locked if you got a region free player I highly recommend picking this one up uh, what I did find out with which was really cool is it has a, the deleted scenes are actually see like skits some of them are skits that were cut out of the film and, and it's a shame because they actually have some good ones like one like there's a couple scenes that are like an alternate opening and uh, an, an extra an extra scene for the uh, Kind of the, the, the if you've seen the movie, there's a funeral that's played like a, like a, one of those old Hollywood roasts type of thing, which is has a lot of big like old time stand up comedians there. But uh, there's a couple like, like like two or three different like skits, and some of them are really funny that I wish were actually put into the film. Um, there's one with uh, and you get to see like some other actors as well. I know that Bernie Casey is in the Unknown Soldier one. Uh, there's a few different actors in that. There's there's a, a few different skits. That uh, they didn't make it. It's a shame that they didn't. Uh, one of my favorite skits in this one here is actually aside from you know No Soul one, and I do like the uh, Steve Gutenberg one with Roseanne Arquette. It's just the two of them, and basically uh, it's all the horrors of dating. Uh, if and and this is every guy's worst nightmare is uh, that a girl gets a machine with two pieces of ID. She she runs it through the the system and knows. All the information about every date that you've ever had uh, it's actually really kind of cool and funny and Steve Gutenberg plays it well and there's a little kind of like punch line at the end of it that you do see coming but it's actually uh, it's really fun uh, I was so excited to get this movie um, 
not everything's on sale. Uh, that's the thing. There's there's a few things that are on sale. Basically, uh, De Katana, the way that it works right now is this is giving you a good taste for it. Yes, actually, uh, it's not out yet. Uh, I filmed it in, uh, well, filmed it. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, I taped it in uh, in late December. But uh, there's a few episodes of that podcast that, are, that have been coming out that before then. Uh, and uh, I should be, uh, you know, Hopefully, fingers so crossed and ingest the discs. So, if you ever seen the, if you ever listened to the pro podcast you know, the, that's done with uh, with with Brian and often done with uh, with Stephanie as well and uh, and Rob Galuza, I'm actually going to be like uh, guesting on on that with the uh, talking about actually vinegar syndrome because over the last couple of years, that's kind of what I've been known for is my uh, is the, my vinegar syndrome stuff. As I said, when I when I started up with 2019, what I'm doing with my channel this year is I'm highlighting a lot of companies that people don't highlight in their videos, and I want to bring you guys on this kind of like exploration journey with me uh, to actually explore new and different, unique companies. I'm going to be grabbing like all the cool stuff along there as well, all the vinegar syndrome and scream factory and all that type of stuff that I want, all the severins and the synapses that I can get my 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 paws on. But I also want to be diving into companies like 88 Films, which I think has been underrepresented, and definitely 101 Films, which I think is highly underrepresented on YouTube. Uh, and I want to be the the, the guy that, that represents 101 Films when it comes to uh, when it comes to here. Uh, one of the guys, anyway. I'm sure that a Serialite Terror, he does a lot of like uh, of like uh, of the of really good like he, he does reviews. He does them pretty concise. 13 Wolfman 2 does a lot of this stuff. Uh, no, they uh, they've probably done some 101 Films. I'm not quite sure. Uh, because I'm, I'm so far behind. I can't find it. Do you know the name of it, or uh, you're kind of you're kind of wondering by uh, by description? Nightmares, uh, nightmares. Uh, it is a strange film. It's it's an anthology film. Uh, I always like the first skit best. Two brothers and involves the black hole. Anybody here got know what Rich is talking about, guys? I don't. I mean, like. Uh, Two Brothers and Involves a Black Hole. Uh, when I think of like movies that involve anything like that, I'm always thinking of things like... Uh, I, I'm just going to look that up. I'm just going to Google Two Brothers Black Hole. Please don't give me anything horrible. Please Google. Please be nice to me. Because... You never know what you're going to get. The Black Hole, Disney. The Black Hole is a great film. Does that have two brothers? I know it's got like Anthony Perkins and hey, Culture Trini. I have no idea, man. <laughs> but it's going to show me pictures of Black Hole Sun, and that video really, really disturbs me. So I'm not going there. Uh, but all that being said, I really, really am excited about these. Uh, about these films here. So just to get, let you guys know, I'm going to show you guys again what I got in the sale because I know some people just came in. One's good and one's bad. Maybe it is the black hole. I'm not quite sure. Uh, if I find out, Rich, I'll be sure to let you know. And if anybody on here knows, uh, like just to let you guys know the prices of this type of stuff, uh, on the red label stuff, which is their bigger stuff, it goes from like uh, from four pounds to uh, to six pounds. And on their, on their smaller stuff, hey, Scalder. Um, they have like a lot of like uh, four and three pound things. For instance, there's a Van Damme collection here. Uh, that runs at six pounds for uh, three Blu-rays, which I don't think is bad at all. As uh, Death Warrant and it has Black Eagle, which definitely is going to cost you more money if you go and buy it. And um, an A an A Wall A W L, otherwise known as uh, as Lionheart. Actually, they have some classic films here, like the Mole People and Alligator People, stuff like that. Uh, you know, they're missing in action. And what's really cool is I love the covers that they put out here. Thai Soldiers is one that I really, I do recommend picking up. That's a good one. I should have got that one myself. It's a, it's definitely a cool film. They have like the 1977 version of Island Dr. Moreau. That's at four pounds. Um, the Fringo box set that I, that I bought there cost me five pounds. The Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine box set, uh, was six. And they had like the, if you, if you kind of want to get, like you're going to get the obviously superior version with with Arrow, but if you want to have the 
just like the movies, the Shokazuji movies, like Pray for Death and stuff like that. And you want you just want to get the Blu-rays. You want to spend like like a bunch on the movies. The the actually 101 Films actually did put those out first, and they put them out with the original VHS artwork, which uh, means that I'm gonna probably have to buy both, because uh, I'm not quite sure if the artwork is gonna be the same on the on the Arrow one. I, I'd have to look at a, an unboxing of it. Uh, if they have the you know the original artwork on the back, they usually do. But I do kind of like that original artwork, so we'll we'll see. So just to let you guys know what I picked up. If you just came in, I grabbed uh, Firewalker, the cult movie collection. Uh, this one here was uh, my better half. Specifically wanted to get this one, and uh, a lot of fun. Watched this when I was younger. Uh, some of these here I haven't seen since VHS days. To be completely honest with you. Um, that one was totally from my better half. One that we wanted to get together because we love cheesy bad movies, uh, especially action movies, and that is Double Dragon. Uh, a lot of fun with this film. I know there's a, a big edition of this coming out. I haven't seen it soon enough to know if I'm going to want to buy the big edition, but I'm glad that I picked this one up for like three or four pounds. Uh, you know, basically fairly cheap, so I could actually get this one. Sathura, Space Adventure. Sathura, that was done by the people that did... Uh, uh, what's it called again? The uh, yeah, that's that. That was actually Alex Sathura. It was done by the people that did Jumanji. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was actually. It was done by the people that did Jumanji. It was kind of a follow-up. Sp a split second. Good, good call by the way. Uh, split second with Rutger Hauer. Strongly recommend this one here. If you if you do get anything from the One One Film Sale. Uh, and you want to get one of the regular classic collections, you know, these are pretty bare bones, but uh, you want to get the movie, this, you know, definitely split second. A really cool monster film, Rucker Hauer, you can never go wrong with him. Looks so cute in the background, he's so, he's so comfy there. Um, definitely recommend picking that one up. This is the Lou Fringle collection, this is three Blu-rays, it's not one Blu-ray, it's not like put on two Blu-rays with like the, with the Hercules put on one and the Sinbad put on another, no, it's three separate Blu-rays, one for each of the films. Uh, one of the things that I did want to make note of as I was going through if you just came in is that uh, I love the fact that this is the this is the cover art when it comes to the disc there's like a picture from the uh, from the film itself I know and I, I really like the Spider-Man Fire From Home trailer And the other two that I grabbed, which most people that just came in there already have seen, so is the Stone Cold. Uh, highly recommend picking up this one if you're getting anything from the sales. This this one is a really cool one to grab if you like action films. The poster on the inside of it is. Is anybody like not seen the poster that I showed here? Because if you didn't, please let me know because that's something that is actually very impressive. Uh, and uh, the Amazon Women on the Moon, of course. I'm not sure if it's Hydra Man, and he's not the villain. Uh, the villain is Mysterio, uh, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. Um, a lot of people, like a lot of people, think that it might be the the you know the elementals. Some people think that we're seeing, like, no, no, <laughs> Hydra Man is just like a, a kind of a character. Uh, it's Mysterio. Uh, <clears throat> you see him in the in the trailer actually. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, some people think that that's the elementals that they're using in there, and maybe it is a kind of a version of the elementals. Other people think that that's Hydra Man, and that's like Sandman that you're seeing there. Uh, but what I think what we're getting is Mysterio, if I'm not sure if you follow the comics or not, this is not a spoiler since I know nothing about the film itself, except from what I've seen online. Uh, yeah, but the thing is that he's, he's, he's stopped by, by Mysterio, the character played by Jake Gyllenhaal. See, Mysterio is an actor, and... Uh, the whole thing, the whole idea behind it is uh, what I'm getting out of this is that he's making himself a hero over like in, in Europe uh, where he's at by, by fighting off these, these massive uh, creatures which either he's in, he's, he's working with or he's created because he's a special effects artist. That's what, that's the thing about Mysterio. If you're not familiar with the comic book character, he's, uh, he's a stuntman special effects artist and that's how he does his, uh, his work in, uh, <laughs> in, um, in, in Spider-Man. 
And they're like early Spider-Man comics. I used to read a, a comic called Marvel Tales, which show like the really old issues and stuff like that. Uh, you, there would be like time where pretty much where, Mis where Mysterio would like dress up like Spider-Man and mimic his his moves and like pr do crimes uh, do, with with the fact with using like Hollywood magic. Uh, that's the kind of character that Mysterio is. That's kind of what I expect to see. And uh, in this movie here, I don't expect this to be a movie with like five or six villains or anything like that. Uh, I'd actually be very surprised if it is. Uh, I'm I'm going with I'm gonna I'm gonna put my put my 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 hat in the ring there, and uh, say I uh, I think that Mysterio is beyond all of this, and these these monsters that uh, that can't be beaten by Spider-Man that can be beaten by Mysterio uh, is actually uh, is actually all Mysterio. Uh, a little bit of like smoke and mirrors. Either way, the trailer looks amazing. I'm very excited to see it. I love the first film. Uh, this one looks even better. Uh, Happy Hogan's in this. I, I think there may be a couple like. Uh, I expect to see Keaton maybe make a cameo in this one here and come full on in like maybe maybe a third. Again, uh, I think that with this one here, they're going to go a little bit different. I love the fact that they're doing this one like uh, farther away. They're doing this one in Europe, and I really dig that. I love the cast for uh, for Spider-Man. What I really love is, is that they got something right. That uh, I can't say that the other ones did that the other ones didn't get right. The the newer ones didn't get it as right. Uh, oh, Keaton definitely was. Keaton was was the MVP of of, of that film. But that being said, we, you can. You know, Tom Holland was amazing in that role, and he held his own with Keaton. And Keaton is one of those actors; is one of the great actors. Um, he do, he never gets enough credit. Keaton is, you know, can seamlessly pull off comedy and drama. For me, he is still the best Batman. Uh, Nick Fury is in it, yeah. All right. <laughs> Hope Tower Bridge survives. It, it'll be, it's going to be cool. It's going to be a fun ride, I think. Uh, it's going to be. It's still hard. My favorite Spider movie of all time is Into the Spider Verse. Uh, I, I just that was so damn good. Everything from the art style to like to the storyline, it, it was just really good. Which Doc Ock would you like to see, Rich? Because there's the thing. Like Doctor Octopus has been different throughout the the Spider-Man comics. Obviously, when in the Into the Spider Verse, to use the kind of like the Ultimate Spider Man, like uh, the other Duck, Beetle Juice Two is coming. It's, I'm worried about that one, uh, and I love Michael Keaton. I'm and I'm super worried about Beetle Juice Two because it started as a joke that that was never meant to be made, and now he's he's making it. And I don't know. I really don't know, guys. Uh, I'm not. I'm, Beetle Juice Two is not something I'm excited about. It's kind of something that I, that I hope that they would be bandied about would never actually come out. What do you think of Venom? Because I have strong uh, feelings on, on Venom, actually. It's one that I, I personally really liked. Uh, and I never got the hate for it. I never did get the hate for, uh, for Venom. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. Uh, it... Oh, uh, there. Oh, glad you really liked it. The bromance. This is the best bromance in the basket case. I've said this before. There, see... Molina was amazing. Spider-Man Two of the of the trilogy. It's still you know. People rag on the original Sam Raimi Spider-Mans, and I don't get why. Because the third one was bad. Did that negate parts one and two being awesome? Because for me, parts one and two of uh, of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy were really awesome. Part two, especially with Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, was incredible. I love the actor Willem Dafoe and pretty much everything. And he was like, I didn't like the. I wasn't really big on the Goblin Goblin suit. But Willem Dafoe as a Green Goblin, yes, yes, please. Can I have some more? Unfortunately, I couldn't. But uh, I did like the way that it was done. I love the fact that uh, that you know you got like like James Franco playing uh, playing Harry Osborn, and the guy that plays would you know is supposed to be anyway, and he's only been like in a cameo for uh, for the uh, for the films. But uh, Deadpool actually, uh, the guy that plays Deadpool in the DC universe. Uh, Deadpool. I'm sorry. Uh, Deathstroke. Uh, Deathstroke in the DC universe, in the in the films, in DCEU as it used to be called, uh, is actually uh, Flash Thompson, in uh, in the uh, Ray Sam Raimi Spider-Man films. So a lot of people don't realize that, but that is like uh, I can't remember his name. Joe. 
Joe Mans Man Mangrilla Man something Mantella something like that Joe Mantella maybe uh, anyway so that actor there if you see him he's like a big guy so he actually he's the guy that plays Flash in the original like uh, uh, Sam Raimi Spider Man films now did anybody pick up any 88 films after uh, my video last night as soon as I said that somebody left the video I was like what do you mean 88 films and just and just just went um, there's a ton of stuff guys to pick up from the 101, 101 film sale that I I gotta say you did Scolder nice you picked up like two I think I got like there's a comment I, I gotta look at it uh, I'm not sure if anyone Scolder probably grabbed this because you um, did you grab anything from, from the 101 film sale this nemesis collection I, I kind of really want, want this man this is eight pounds and has all four movies the complete set so, well there's a fifth one but I wouldn't really consider it uh, but, <laughs> but uh all four original nemesis films are on this set uh, really really want that uh mean guns is another one that I that I uh, that I kind of want if you like like uh I think they actually had a uh, a steel book here at one point I'm not sure if it's still here there was a steel book like a three amigo steel book three titles which which ones did you grab without me having to go look at my uh, like they've got like a the Lane Delon Zorro here uh, sabotage with Mark Dacascos like I'm really like weird uh, movies that you never think are gonna get like I'm sure this is gonna get like a, a big edition down the road somewhere is monkey bone which is a really weird movie with Brendan Fraser uh, if you've never seen it it's uh it's it's strange uh, and I kind of want it it's one of those it's one of those that's really out there that I think is going to have its time as a kind of a kind of a cult classic your attempt on mean guns me that's the same here um, if I was not going away I, I would definitely grab some of these like without without a doubt I would grab some of these here uh, the great Western collection box set they got a couple of these here as well three volumes and each one of them has like six movies on it monkey bone thank you so somebody else got some I like to see like some love for monkey bone thank you dude I actually appreciate that like I made or something no but someone else also liked it just like cool world exactly but that's actually a really good double feature like double feature cool world and monkey bone um, that's it's a trippy double feature if you're in Canada you can do it with your favorite <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. You know what Canada now has. You know what we made legal. But yeah, like there's these. If you're like, if you're an old school Western fan, uh, Jace like what likes Westerns, for instance. Um, they got like box sets. Like here we got like Man the Shadow, Law and Order with Ronald Reagan. Oh damn, this one's sought out. Forget that one, guys. Uh, <laughs> but there's other ones here. Let's just see. The Cimarron Kid, Evil Roy Slade. Hell Bent for Leather, Gun for a Coward, Whispering Smith, Ride a Crooked Trail. A lot of Eddie Murphy ones on that one. Um, just some super, super cool stuff. I got I gotta say, I'm I'm super impressed with the stuff that they uh, they put out. <laughs> the super cheesy left behind trilogy. Uh yeah. Nicholas Cage, what were you thinking, man, doing that one? But yeah, they got some different stuff here. They got a, like I think they got at least one of their black labels. Do they have any of their black labels on sale? I don't think they do. Do, do they? Stone Cold is unfortunately sought out. I do apologize. I didn't. I think somebody mentioned that here. Play, Play Dirty is actually isn't. I haven't seen Play Dirty. I've seen trailers for it. If you don't have Truck Turner and you and you're over in the UK, friends, you don't have the Kino version of Truck Turner. They got a really sexy looking version of Truck Turner here. Uh, it has you know. Isaac Hayes, Yefet Koto, Cat. What else can you ask for? If you want the FX movies, if you if you want both of them, then uh, then one one films did FX the complete collection of both of them together, and that is six pounds for both of them. Uh, yeah, Black Label does. It does like two for twenty five, right? Or is that still going on, Scholar? Now, if you're not familiar with the Black Label, the one one films does. That's their premium premier label. Uh, that often includes like a bunch of features like uh, kind of like a, usually a poster sometimes like art cards and stuff like that right that's the black label that like you know correct me if I'm wrong here um, let me just go to them so f there's only a few movies on the black label so far there's like uh, there's six of them uh, it's, and unique stuff as well uh, there's the cooler you know William H Macy 
uh, Trespass, that's a cool one. Uh, Black Book, Roller Coaster, Ex Existence, and the, Gr and the Grifters. And just to let you guys know, uh, these are all limited editions. So when they sell out, they sell out, that's it. Um, Feature-wise, like for instance on Existence, they got like uh, commentary with Kim Newman and Ryan Lambie, a commentary with Mondo Digital's Nathan Nathaniel uh, Thompson, who's 25 years, uh, the leader in an interview with Chris Reckleston. I forgot he was in that limited edition booklet is on here as well. Uh, additional extras, you know, they're probably poured over from other releases were like uh, the audio commentary by Cronenberg, make him documentary promo feature, featurette, special f effects featurette, backstage interviews with Jude Law, Jennifer Jason Lee, Wim Dafoe, Jim Isaac, David Cronenberg, and the trailer. Trespass is a good movie, actually. Uh, if you've never seen an ex one of these uh, Black Label ones, definitely check them out. They're a limited 3,000 each. Um, they come like in a in kind of a, a box case. So if you've ever seen any of those uh, those like uh, Criterion's uh, with the uh, you know in the in the with the slip cases, uh, that's uh, that's kind of what you're getting with a black label uh, when it comes from one of one films. It's uh, actually there. The the black label they go from like the premiums go from from black label slip covers and booklets. But they're also regular editions also. Yeah, there's there'll be, there'll be the black label edition, and then other films will be what's called this here is called a red label. As you can see, the red label right there, and. Uh, here is their uh, kind of the kind of the no frills. I uh, just grab it, kind of the cult movie collection. Oh, Carlos, man, have a great evening there. I, I'm always coming on too late for you. I, I apologize. I'm, I'm gonna have to come on earlier just for Carlos one of these nights so we can actually be in here for a whole video. Hope you got some movies from 101 Films, Carlos, and some of the 80 films as well. And I'm, I'm here to tempt you, Carlos. Uh, have a great evening, and it's really great when you're in here. What did I unbox? Do you want to see it? It's okay because it's only a little bit to show, uh, and because uh, I do want to show the poster of, this, of one of them again. Uh, so Firewalker, which is the, uh, it is early for me, isn't it? Uh, I didn't want to be too late doing this one. I've been kind of not feeling the best lately. Uh, this is the cult movie collection of Firewalker. Oh, nice, eight pounds of Gonzavi. There's a good, a good deal. Uh, so Rob Mark there basically said uh, that Existence is eight pounds on Zavi right now. You might want to give that a check out. If that's a black label edition, definitely check that out. Uh, Split Second with Rucker Hauer. Fantastic film. Definitely watch that, guys. Uh, I can't wait to see that one. I'm just waiting for a better half to come back so we can watch it together. Double Dragon. The Lou Fringo Collection. Super cheesy Z-grade stuff. Yeah, they do. I mean, is, is, is Volume 1 still uh, still there? Like, some of these are sold out. This one here is sold out, for instance. I got to show you this. Uh, this is really cool. So I'm not sure if everybody was here, but this has a poster. And not just uh, not just any poster. Uh, it has a movie poster. Like, a rule. A real, actually, I don't have... Did they put that out? I don't have Mario Brothers movie, actually. Not even on a DVD, I don't think. And actually, fun cheese. Like, I like cheesy films. Like, obviously. This is one of the coolest things that I've seen. So this is the movie poster. And I mean really like a movie poster. Uh, not just, it doesn't just have a, like a poster. It's not like brand new artwork. It's like a movie poster just like you'd see it in a, in a, in a V, in, in one of the old video stores. Or just like see it in a theater with the, you know, with the credit stuff and everything down there as well. I really, really love this. I know it's just a simple thing having like the, having like the names and the credits down there. Uh, but uh, that that's a big deal for me. That that's like that's a deal maker. You know, since some things are a deal breaker, that's a deal maker. And last but not least is Amazon Women on the Moon. I was really surprised to see that there. It's again, like uh, this one actually has a uh, has a booklet which has an interview with the cinematographer. When the cinematographer had an interview with Sybil Danning there as well. Uh, I do strongly recommend checking that out, guys. Uh, six incredible things from the 101 film sale. I'm a little on the sniffly side. But, uh, you see, Danning, right? See, this is, I have two Dannings in here. I've got, oh, nice. Uh, let, I'm, I'm kind of interested in what, you, what your thoughts on them when you get them are. I want more. I really do. I'm hoping that Base Street Video has some of these. Uh, 
So this one here, the Hercules one, that actually has Sylva Danning in it. And uh, it's the Amazon Women on the Moon, also has uh, the, the beautiful Sybil Danning. Uh, so, uh, Which, really? I got the leprechaun set. Uh, the only one I don't have is a new one. And I, and I don't care how bad they say the new one is. There's is no way in hell it's worse than that uh, than WWE when that was put out actually uh, about a year or two back. That was that was atrocious. If you're new, or if you're coming here and you're really surprised that Bubbly's not here, I'm not feeling the best. Uh, what I have here is some uh, some chamomile tea, no sugar, no milk. Just enjoying a nice chamomile tea tonight. But that's the stuff that I got from 101 Films. I'm super excited about it. I've already watched Amazon Women on the Moon. I opened it up, watched it right away. We got your box just oh excellent. I get a cool way to start the new year. And that's and it's exactly what I said and that I that I promised here on this channel. That I wanted to focus and show you guys some some uh companies that aren't always the big brands that you that you normally see that are putting out some cool stuff uh i need more posters uh from this company uh, the, I, it's, it's a simple thing like a poster but it looks like a real poster uh it doesn't look like the sometimes when you get a poster you get like a screen factory poster and it's rolled up it's really nice and it's big or you get like a poster from like arrow and you get it out and stuff but that little See, it's the little touches that uh, that make it. Uh, hey, hey, Corey, man, welcome, dude. Corey's been on the move, so uh, that's why we haven't seen him here recently. Did you get any one-on-one films, Corey? There's a huge one-on-one film sale on, and I got mine today. I will keep showing them over and over again because I am super, super stoked. Especially this one. This is the one out of all these, Corey. That you're going to want. You are going to want. Split second. I'm hoping that much like the 88 Films one, like if some of the ghosts sold out, they'll come back in again. I think this is a big deal for 101 Films. I, I've never seen a 101 Film sale. It's super cheesy, man. Uh, so... I think they were surprised by how much response they got from the sale. They actually made it go. Uh, it's a it's a monster film. Uh, basically, Rucker Howard plays this uh, this cop who gets to, like he's kind of like the lone cop, lone wolf cop. He gets with this other with this with this new partner, and he's trying to like to solve these murders. This like really vicious killer, and the killer turns out to be an alien, like a monster. So it really is a kind of a monster movie with Rucker Howard like hunting this creature that. Uh, just I'm not sure if what he what the creature does again now. I'm not sure was he rip inside their hearts or something like that. The killer has multiple DNA strands having absorbed the DNA of the victims. Uh, truth is not human, it's horrific and possibly a demonic form of life that's fast, savage, bloodthirsty, and fixated on killing. Come on, Corey, does that not sound like your type? Does it pay a lot of money? I missed something, Dave Katana. I do apologize. I'm not sure if you're asking me or not, but what does does what pay a lot of money? Uh, my job? No. <laughs> uh, oh, somebody got a new job. Oh, Corey, right? Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I do hope that they they sell well, uh, because the thing is that. Then say, next time, Corey, then I'll be like, you know, hey, Corey, <laughs> I'm coming into town. Um, yeah, see, I just looked down. I miss everything, Wolf. Uh, congratulations, Corey, by the way. I know you're on the move. Uh, and Kim Cottrell. Hey, Tomb. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, split second. I come in peace. Yeah, that's a good double feature. Awesome. The I I, I really kind of dig that. My beard is slowly coming back. I'm not sure. If I 
shaved my beard down a little bit too low uh, a few days back and I was extremely self-conscious of it to the point where I wasn't gonna come on video like be completely honest with you guys uh, I'm, I'm that shallow uh, <laughs> but I said shag it I had some stuff that I wanted to do <laughs> you're writing rap it's getting there Jesse sadly it's not to the point where I wanted that I'm very self-conscious about my beard I like I like the big beard <laughs> I like the kind of like my more mountain-esque beard uh, yes that that is a big deal for me honestly I've got a weak chin um, that's why beard works better I don't have the manly chins like you guys have no I don't have without warning actually I did see it there um, there's a few there that I really want like these six here I'll be honest with you these are the first like time that I've ever ordered anything from 101 films it was a uh, it was a great uh, a great experience uh, I, w I will definitely be buying from them again I have I've watched uh, the uh, Amazon women on the moon oh, the copy was fantastic uh, the booklet was great uh, I'm excited to like to dive into the rest I wanna I kind of want to have I kind of want a collection of these now because I love the 101 films 101 films logo I, I like the uh, kind of the cult classic thing I like that just like in little little things you put down like the just, it's just small things like putting the uh, the year like down there like 1992 1996 1994 uh, and just doing like the having discs that actually have different art that isn't just the the cover regurgitated it actually has like movie artwork from the you know artwork has as movie still from the actual film uh, on the inside as, as the art these little these little things like add up for me for uh, for like a lot oh actually no they're not they're not 88 films so 88 films and 101 films are two different companies uh 88 films uh does it does you know it's definitely definitely very similar i think 101 films was, was around first they've been around for a while now um 80 films came out uh, a couple years back i think 80 films does a lot of great stuff they got a sale going on right now too by the way uh, one thing you're going to notice that the, is that they're both uk labels and they both go under my shopify uh they use the my shopify uh uh, for their uh, for for both of their uh, their stores so you're gonna see like a similarity there but no they're not the uh, they're not they're not the same thing just they they just have numbers in the things 88 films 11 films um, I don't think there's anything I don't think there's anything like uh, but yeah I am loving their stuff I love the uh, cult movie collection banner on the top uh, I like the fact that they do use different artwork on the on the inside on the interior discs uh, I love the poster from Stone Cold that that that's maybe my favorite like poster that I've gotten with the movie uh, like forever because I it looks like an old like basically if I was gonna get a poster if I was going to one of those old-school video stores I was gonna get a poster it wouldn't be just a poster with art on it would be a poster and there'd be like the, the names and all that stuff down the bottom that that's something that that I really enjoy I, I super dig that I think that's a that's a that's a touch of the old school and uh, as an old school like uh, like movie collector that still collects VHS and and, uh, and laser disc and stuff like that just to see those old school style things put in there really means a lot to me uh, I really want a black label now that I got a red label uh, I wouldn't I'm not sure which I'd go with first uh, I like grifters a lot it's uh, not a movie for everybody but I'm a big John Cusack fan and um, I actually watched last night because I'm not I've been feeling well I actually watched uh, the sure thing I forgot what a damn good movie the sure thing was that was really really good uh, I'm an 80s kid and to see a movie start out with uh, with such an amazing soundtrack was incredible yes yeah, true stage alone was a any the thing stage alone much like much like uh, much like me was a fan of those like that type of stuff anytime Corey we're always glad to see you come in here Corey got some awesome stuff on his channel as well make sure you guys check it out uh, definitely a guy that deserves more subscribers uh, he's into the gore and he uh, picks up some really cool releases look into the one-on-one films I think you might like it and look how sexy this is Corey as you go back to work look at the sexiness of the stone cold cover 
enjoy your time and uh, congratulations on the new job. Hey, Thomas. I don't. I really. I have the the Twilight Time release actually that was uh, that was gifted to me. Um, but uh, if you've got a good release of it now, I don't think you need to re like to rebuy it, like to to sell off your umbrella to get the uh, the Twilight Time release. Unless like you're, if you're collecting Twilight Time and you really want to have it, uh, is it being re-released or is it a uh, or is it the original release? Are some one one films region free? Everyone that I've gotten so far, Jesse has been a. Uh, has been uh, has been in region B. Now that being said, I've never I haven't like like shoved it into one of my things there. <laughs> uh, thanks, Corey. Have a great evening there, and uh, hope to see you here the next time. Original release. I love umbrella releases, uh, but uh, does anybody have both releases? Because Thomas here wants to know if he should. Get rid of his umbrella release to get the Twilight Time release of the Blob. Now, the Twilight Time release of the Blob is a really good release. Uh, I'm definitely gonna gonna say that. But I uh, I'm a huge fan of Umbrella and the stuff that they do. Uh, the, I've only got a couple umbrellas. I got Body Double and uh, and Fair Game. Uh, they impress me, and I like their I like the style of their stuff more than uh, than I like the style of Twilight Time stuff. And I know Twilight Time is kind of one of those marquee tables, but uh, Dave Katana has the umbrella. Uh, blob there, and if he says it's great, I, I definitely trust him. Uh, I've got the uh, I've got the Twilight Time release, but honestly, I would I would reverse if I would have kind of more umbrella releases in my collection. I would probably do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've, I've only I got a handful of Twilight Times. Uh, I guess I can show you the the Twilight Time release. I mean, you probably saw it though if you've seen it in the uh, if you're if you're looking at it like in the store or something like that. Uh, and and depends on really what they're you don't any release the Blob. The best version. Uh, it, it, like both of them are great releases, as far as I know. I uh, the there's nothing wrong at all with the Twilight Time release. The uh, Umbrella release is good. Which one costs is the is the is the least expensive for you, dude? Uh, because I think that they're gonna be if they're not exactly the same, they're gonna be fairly similar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesse says the Umbrella release has all the blobs. Get that one, man. Uh, that's yeah okay uh that that's that's the deal breaker right there uh the umbrella release is very there's not there's pretty much nothing on it uh, yours didn't uh there's probably a couple different editions of it out um tell you what i'm doing this a lot more recently so this is the old release of the uh of the blob now there's like a uh a commentary on here with uh, Ryan Turek, uh, who just actually did Halloween, uh, and uh, and Chuck Russell, the director. There's a Friday Night Frights at this Cine family, and as always, there's going to be like the original theatrical trailer, and with Twilight Time, there's they're going to deal with the isolated film track. So if you want to just like listen to the score, it's like score track. You want to listen to that? I know that's going to be like thing that. And uh, if it's an on open copy, you should receive with it this here little booklet. It's around eight pages long. If you don't have a lot, or if you don't have any toilet umbrella releases. This is a regular umbrella release right here. Uh, fair game. You're gonna see like if this bothers you, that's gonna be definitely be on there. Uh, there's a lot of features on like umbrella releases. They often have like uh, reversible artwork as well. I'm not sure like if uh, Dave Katana has it, he'll know for sure if it does. Like you'll see, because you can like if this bothers you, you can like reverse the art and see like no, have like no logos, like none of those like M logos on the outside as well. You can just get it like kind of clean and un. I love the way the package is done. I like the thicker case. I like the way that it's done with this. So this is an umbrella release. If you don't have any, uh, Blob will be kind of probably be kind of similar to this. Uh, I'll have the umbrella logo right there. I do like that. And uh, even if you turned around, you're gonna get the umbrella logo, but you're just gonna have like a. I, I do. I, I like the umbrella one. That's like you know 
That's me. I have the other one, but I would also pick up the umbrella one in a second. Not sure if that's helpful where that's two totally different films, but just give an idea of both companies. Uh, as I'm waiting for you guys to talk a bit, I think I, I thought I'd respond to a couple of my messages on here from people that have, have taken the time to actually... Uh, so, from Eric Hall... Let's see. Yeah, definitely, Thomas. Uh, anytime. The guys on here are really great with stuff like that. Yeah, reverse cover for the Day Katana uh, blob release. Uh, Day Katana blob release. It was Day Katana that released it. Uh, it. The umbrella release. Definitely go for the umbrella one. I, I would. Uh, like, I would pay for the umbrella one. I, I didn't pay for the uh, for that. And I, it was a generous gift from somebody when they got that got me the uh, the blob. But, uh, and I, this is a movie that I really wanted. It's a super cool movie. Uh, so basically, Eric Hall says on my on the 88 films one, great video. Just ordered my first 88 films package a few days ago. Congratulations, Eric. Uh, randomly came across the sale and got some good stuff. But like you, I was disappointed to see some stuff that I've been eyeing and, and so had sold out. Anything from the February Vincent announcements that I would recommend? That's actually a good question, Eric. Question, Eric. So let's go back into the Vinegar Syndrome February announcements because I, I'll be honest with you, I'm. I know them, but I don't know all of them, so I kind of want to look here and see. Uh, I know the Vinegar Syndrome did their February announcements recently. Why can't I see them? Uh, let's go to their uh, to their Facebook. I know that a Wacko is a, is there. I'm pretty sure Wacko is like was listed in the Vinegar Syndrome like announcements, which is a really cheesy bad movie, but I, I gotta have it. Uh, so Battle for the Lost Planets. Is uh, comes out for uh, for vinegar from vinegar syndrome. It's uh, it's a super fun cheesy little flick. If you uh, if you like this type of stuff, uh, I'm uh, I'm definitely uh, thinking about picking up this uh, kind of this super like no budget classic. Uh, he's just retweeted the wacko tweet. Uh, party line is oh shoot ah uh, party line damn. Uh, and Wacko, three of them. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wacko is cheesily bad, but it's so bad. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say you, you, you're probably gonna kind of love it, Eric. It's a. Uh, it's a super cheesy. It's the. Uh, kind of the lawnmower killer uh it's got a lot of big actors in it you get like george kennedy you get some george kennedy goodness uh party line is one i really like actually uh i'm very surprised it's on here it's a strange film leaf Garrett, the late richard hatch who i got to meet he was really a, was a super sweet guy uh he was talking to my to my youngest one who was really shy he's really shy at the time uh he tried to get him to talk to the table but he was really quiet uh but richard hatch is a super nice guy uh sean weatherly's you know for baywatch is in this here uh, Richard Roundtree. Oh, yes, I really like Party Line. I did not know that was announced. Um, oh, wow. Uh, that actually, uh, Richard Hatch. Yeah, the Richard Hatch from Battlestar Galactica. He's, uh, he's passed away. I'm, unfortunately, Richard Hatch, when did he die? Back, in, back a couple years ago, actually, I think. So far, he's like the only Boss Galactic member that I uh, that I did get to meet. He passed, he died actually in 2017. And this Richard Hatch from like Boss Galactic, not the guy from Survivor, man. <laughs> Just who you're a Survivor fan. It is wacky. A uh, wacko is really really weird. Uh, oh god, it's been a long time since I've seen it. Wait, there's a video actually. Uh, I think it was Brandon Tennell. If you watch Brandon Tennell's channel, uh, which I do recommend, if you like the films that I show on here and the Zegery stuff and Vinegar Syndrome stuff, you owe it to yourself to watch a, a, another Canadian uh, YouTuber, by the way, by the name of Brandon Tennell. A lot of the movie YouTubers that do this really weird, crazy, wacky stuff 
are Canadian, you'll, you're going to kind of notice that. Uh, like, there's me. I, I, I love this stuff. But, like, as for, like, reviews, for comedy reviews, Brandon Tenold uh, is, is out there. There's uh, Fan by Flicks. And, uh, of course, Phelan, Phelan Phelous, um from this province right here, actually, Nova Scotia. Um, but, uh, yeah, Brandon Tenold, I'm sure, did a video on Wacko. I would definitely check that out. It's really super cheesy. Uh, was there Fan by I, I think it was Brandon Tenold. Anyway, so Wacko is there's this lawnmower killer. Joe Don Baker's in the movie. Uh, George Kendi's in the movie. Brad, was it Brad that did it? Maybe it was Brad. I get him all confused. <laughs> Sorry, I get him all confused. He's the American. <laughs> the, the, yeah, and I know, I know he has done Wacko. Uh, it's super cheesy. I love the fact that George Kendi, I think George Kendi plays the dad, and he's always spying on his, on his daughter. He's always like creepy. <laughs> Creepily incestuous, <laughs> incestuous with his with his daughter. He's always like looking, uh, like in her in her room and trying to. That's cinema snob. Yeah, I love the cinema snob character. I was very inspired to actually start this channel by uh, by Brad, uh, uh, by Brad and and Brandon guys like that. There was actually a guy that used to be on here a long time ago that used to do unboxings, and like do he got movies from all these different companies, and ended up like. Uh, shutting down his channel and I think he went on like doing like a like a writing like on the uh on different uh on, on a website but we would watch his videos like like all the time uh it was him and Absolute Sublime were like two of the really early ones that we watched Absolute Sublime I was actually uh was, was honored enough to be actually in an Absolute Sublime like what movie frightened you like Halloween video uh actually a couple years in a row actually um which was uh which was nice it was really nice to actually reach out to me to uh, to do a part of that, uh, but uh, but yeah, Wacko is really crazy. It's really nuts, uh, but it's 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 over the top nuts. So if you like movies like Student Bodies and stuff like that, it's not of the quality of Student Bodies, but I still think it's really crazy and really fun, and it's definitely worth checking out. If you've sat down and watched Class Reunion, you can definitely watch Wacko, uh, which is um, I think is, would be of similar quality. So there you go, Eric. If you're on here uh, later, you, that's the answer. Scholar, aha, there you go. Student Bodies is again sought out. Already. See, Student Bodies is a good one, guys. Uh, the only one Scholar's missing is Blood Sucking Pharaohs in Pittsburgh, Just Before Dawn. That's a good movie, actually. And Blood Harvest. That's going to be hard to find Scholar. Uh, Petra Clark said that she hadn't heard of 88 films before. And. Uh, Fingers crossed there'll be still some on sale when at the end of the month when her payday rolls around. Hopefully by then, pay, Petra, your student bodies will be back in because you got to get student bodies. It's, it's a good film. I really recommend it. Holy crap, Scholar, what did you order? Okay. <laughs> Since I think basically it's selling out and they're finding extra stock type of thing. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised that well, because it is a smaller company. Uh, maybe they're pressing more. But Scorder, this is what Scorder bought in the January sale. Ready, guys? Are you ready for this? It's Adult Fairy Tales, The Kill with Intrigue, Dragon Fist, Bra Battle Creek Brawl, Gifted, Bloody Birthday, Evil Speak, Hansel and Gretel, The Boneyard, Sea Fog, Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers, uh, Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland, uh, The Enchanted Ghost, The Ghost Lover, Super Inframan. Yes, uh, Blast Fighter. That's the one I was trying to remember last night with the BG song. Blast Fighter has an awesome BG song in it. Uh, if you, um, if you're a BG's fan, I am. Uh, that's the one with the with the dead deer scholar. That's the one I was talking about. Uh, Zombie Holocaust, the Mad Dog Killer, and the Cynic, the Rat, and the Fist scholar. You chose some really really good titles. Uh, Blast Fighter is actually a really fun film. Run Twitter that I'm ill. I am ill, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I am sick and uh, actually had I got VTO'd, which is kind of voluntary leave. The Bee Gees did a song on Blast Fighter. Yep, PlayStation 9. So not the, not the game Blast Fighter. Uh, the, there's a movie. There's an Italian film called uh, called Blast Fighter. It's uh, it was put out by 88 Films. And uh, let's see if I can find it here.
I think it's Umberto Bava. Got to check here. Yeah, it's Umberto Bava. Stars and a great cast. George Eastman's in it. Uh, Michael Sopku was in it. Uh, come on, show me the. Yeah, the country music song, actually. Country music song, Evening Star, performed by Tommy Babby in this film, was written by Barry Gibb, Robin Gibb, and Maurice Gibb, the Bee Gees. So it's not like, uh, it's actually written by the Bee Gees. And I'll be honest with you guys, I would not have known that if it uh, wasn't, uh, yeah, that's the one, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's the 84 film, Blast Fighter. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, yeah, I would not have known that if it wasn't for my dad, who was a huge music fan and a, definitely a super huge Bee Gees fan. Uh, so if you're, uh, my dad, when he's around, I'll get him on to do one. They do slip covers. There are, I keep, I kept getting like, people kept telling me that they say it's O-rings. Actually, Jesse, I'm a huge 90s erotic thriller fan. Uh, the one that, uh, the ones that I'm looking for, that I will look for, like when you saw Party Line, that's kind of like that style. It's a, it's a thriller, and it definitely has like a bit of the erotic thriller style to it. Uh, one of my favorites, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I is not the Night Eye series. Andrew Stevens like did a bunch of erotic thrillers back in the uh, in the 90s, and uh, he did ones with Shannon Tweed, and you know Tracy Tweed was in actually Night Eyes Three, I think. Uh, that's you know that's her sister. Uh, Channon Tweed is from Newfoundland, actually, where I'm from. Um, obviously, you can tell by the 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 pure amount of sexiness and and awesomeness that that you know just 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 reeks from from me in a, in a typical video. Me, Shannon Tweed, it's like the same thing. <laughs> I can't even say straight face for that one. Um, but no, uh, I do like the erotic thrillers. It'll depend on which ones they put out. Uh, I, I'm looking for like some Andrew Stevens stuff. Shannon Worry is an actress that I really like. <laughs> oh god, then we're both gone broke, man. Between erotic thrillers and yellows, those that's that's too underrepresented. Now somebody just needs to come out and say they're putting out some Cynthia Rothrock stuff, and and I'm broke. Uh, I'm so broke because. Where the hell are the Lady Dragon films? What, how come I'm, those aren't out? How come I'm not seeing a bunch of Cynthia Rothrock stuff out? Uh, I love that stuff. I'm not I know. It, uh, I keep looking in the mirror and wondering why I'm not Shannon Tweed. I had a big crush. Shannon Tweed, definitely one of the tops in that Google Doc list. Uh, hey, baby. What's wrong, baby? He wanted my attention. I'm not sure if you guys heard a meow in the background, but he kind of did this meow, and he's very cute with his meows. But uh, yeah, I'm a huge, huge uh, fan of like Jallos. A huge fan of like uh, erotic thrillers. Uh, they're really hard to find. Erotic thrillers are one of those the least represented on uh, on, on DVD and Blu-ray. Actually, uh, very, very underrepresented. You'll find more porn than you will find that stuff. <laughs> what? Okay, I never like got into Once Upon a Deadpool. I've seen Deadpool 1 and 2. If I'm correct, isn't Once Upon a Deadpool just like Deadpool or Deadpool 2 with like a, a framing device? That's what it is, right? Because I never bothered to go watch it or look into it. But it is just a movie with a framing device because if that's it, I, 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 I don't need that. Now, that being said, of my better half, she's a huge Deadpool fan. I could see her buying something like that. A PG-13 Deadpool? Shot on video? What was shot on video? Oaks. Because I'm curious now. I can see if they want to get a Deadpool there for the kitties. No, yeah, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't affect it because there's already R-rated Deadpool out there for me. I see this Fred Savage. <laughs> oh, okay, so they're doing the uh, in the bad talking thing, right? When reading the story. A lot of erotic thrillers. Yeah, definitely a lot of them are. Hey, very beautiful cat. Which Venom was R-rated? Venom was. Uh, they didn't really need it. I mean, they could do an R-rating. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, maybe with the Carnage one. I mean, like you know, no spoiler. They already announced that uh, that they're going to be doing Carnage in the next Venom film. Maybe they go R with that one. Uh, they didn't really need to go R with uh, with Venom. 
Venom's, and I did think that they pushed it with the PG-13 that they did with uh, with Venom. I actually thought Venom's amazing. Uh, it, and Tom Hardy made it made it incredible. He, he really did. He, he, he killed it. Can you imagine that there's years ago that we would, if we, can you remember the last time we got a Venom? Before, like people complained about Venom. I got to fix my, my thing here. But uh, do you remember the last Venom we got, guys? Because I remember the last Venom we got. It was Topher Grace. It was not a pretty sight. No, baby. So, in case you're wondering what's getting my attention over here, let me show you. Huh? So if I stop, what he does, and you can't see it right now, is he will actually come over. And I've been sick, so I've been in bed. So a lot of times he gets up with me. That's my, my cat, Bruno. Uh, otherwise known as Zoolander, because he's got a very expressive face. <laughs> okay, I think that high was for you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, basically, uh, he, he has a very expressive face, but what he'll do is, if I stop petting him when he's sitting beside me, he'll come and he'll tilt his head into my, uh, into my, into my leg or something like that. There are, the blurry that are they really thanks see you're beautiful uh but uh sony's making a lot of money on the movies right now venom like made a ton of money uh aquaman for dc wow uh that uh didn't that i do dark knight that's gonna piss off so many people <laughs> uh it really is but they're both dc films so they should be happy uh but yeah that's should I do anything else in the video tonight? What do you think? He's contemplating it. But I was answering questions. And if you guys have any questions. Yeah, cats definitely don't meow to other cats. That's the thing. <laughs> um, a lot of people don't know that. So that's actually really cool that you mentioned that. Chet said, "Hope you feel uh, better soon. You're one of the best movie channels, movie channels on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Uh, you're not arrogant and not condescending. Just a good dude. Uh, every Chet, that means a lot. Actually, it does. Warner did. Ah, and and Wolfgratz also said that to us to think that Back to the Future Three is better than two. Better written. And oh, Plague Dogs is awesome." Uh, more tightly constructed, funnier, and of course, it's a Western. The question is a no-brainer. Then there's Mary Steen Virgin. Yes, Mary Steen Virgin. If you're going to double feature Mary Steen Virgin, you also have that have that excellent. I don't have it, but Warner Archives put it time after time. And if you've never seen Time After Time, it is an incredible movie with Malcolm McDowell and Mary Steen Virgin. Of course, I. Oh God, who's the guy that plays the? Uh, oh, it's 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 on tip my tongue. The guy that plays Jack the Ripper. This is killing me. Uh, Malcolm McDowell plays H.G. Wells. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Mary Steenburgen is, is, uh, plays like, you know, the girl that he meets in modern day. Uh, Dave Warner, thank you. Thank you so much. It's Drive Me Nuts Wolf. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, time at, and David Warner plays Jack the Ripper and does it amazing. Uh, it's what's really cool is that H.G. Wells was like definitely a dreamer and he's portrayed the way in the film uh, and he thinks about like of the utopian society of the future uh, and when he gets there uh, and he like meets Jack the River for the first time uh, like because it's his friend uh, that's not a spotter that's at the beginning of the film um, that's what and he's like you know you thought this was going to be utopian society you thought this was going to be uh, f like your you know you know this per picture perfect world I uh, said this this world was met was made for me this this era the society was meant for me for Jack the Ripper hey 13 Wolfman welcome Corey Feldman this is my world I love that it is so cool I uh, time after time is a movie on VHS that I watched over and over and over and over again much like Mac McDowell was totally in love with Mary Steenburgen she was 
she was just utterly gorgeous uh, on the Google Doc list. God, that's the big list. Uh, and we even watched her in like Back to the Future Three. Little Corey, really? I was at, when I was watching. Uh, what was it? Back to the Future, actually, two. I think it was. Elijah Wood, actually, is in it. I was going to Jesse. What really pissed me off is when I went to Amazon and I was going to check out the price to see if I could download it. it first comes to the future. Oh, really? I didn't know that actually with Thirteen Wolfman. Uh, it was. It's like uh, unavailable. I'll list it on there. In anything, you hoax. You may have not seen some of the Corey Feldman films that I have painfully sat through. Some of the later ones that he did with uh, Corey Haim. Uh, you know, there's like a talent that uh, that went too soon, and unfortunately had a tragic life. But uh, yeah, Elijah Wood actually is what I was going to say is in a Back to the Future too. I think it might have been his first film. He's like a little kid in it. Uh, he's playing this like he's looking at this video game. He boss for Dream a little dream too. This is just I'll be honest with you, aside from Rock On, I was not a huge fan of Dream a Little Dream. Actually I got to meet Mac Modell as well. He, and he was super nice. Linda Blair broke your heart? Why did Linda Blair break her heart? She's like one of my favorites. Was she not nice? Maybe she was having a bad day. Give her another chance. Go see her again. See see if it changes. I always say give some always give movie person whatever give it a second chance uh, you can see a movie at the wrong time you can hear a song at the wrong time uh, last resort is one of those I like, pain through yeah he's playing the video game back to pitch too it's like oh. see so play it with your hands <laughs> see that's probably because Thomas you know she probably gets asked a lot of questions by the exorcist uh, maybe if you ask her about Hell Knight or something uh, or something different uh, uh, that or uh, yeah actually mentioned her dog charity mentioned uh, like a like of dogs and she'll probably answer any other question about that yeah there's the thing go on with something like that mentioning like do you like dogs Thomas you know mention you love dogs a dog that you had in your a dog that you had a dog that's not around anymore and uh, oh yeah he played matches actually uh, Billy Zane played matches in the original Back to the Future, he's in Back to the Future three too. He's when uh, no two, well yeah, where he's got the the cowboy hat and stuff on, more of a cat guy. Well, I like my better half's more of a cat person. I, I'm an animal person, uh, uh, but you guys are awesome. Uh, but I, I originally I had a dog first when I was growing up. I had like a little dog, and then I got like a, a Newfoundland dog. If you're not familiar with those, like Google them; they're gorgeous dogs. Uh, and would break out of his chain and come and meet me at my school <laughs> every day. Uh, my pop went through a fortune in, uh, in, in dog chains. Uh, and I really, really should have given up because uh, Princess, that was my dog's name, knew when I was getting out of school, broke out. Oh, 13th Wolfman, did you get any one on one films? You want Newfoundland dog? Newfoundland dogs are gorgeous. I, I not just because I'm from Newfoundland, but they're they're super super gorgeous. I'm drinking a tea tonight, guys. For all those who recently came in, it's cold right now, <clears throat> but uh, it's chamomile. So <clears throat> I tried a couple different times. Thirty-one more films from one on one films. You got thirty-one films. Or the 80 films, or for new people that came in, because I'm super stoked by these. <laughs> Please, older people, don't be offended. Split second. Awesome. Did I just go? Did I just freeze up? Because I froze up on split second. Usually, <clears throat> oh, from the video store. Did you do the video yet? Uh, I know I'm frozen here, but uh, hopefully you guys can still hear me. Uh, Wolf, 30th Wolfman did actually did this uh, recent uh, video from a uh, from a video store uh, where he, uh, this, this haul that he got from like uh, from video store. So definitely check that out. Uh, it's a video store that's actually closing down, and he's uh, he's getting stuff from them right now. So he's got uh, he did he's already got one video up there. Uh, I'm pre yeah. Thanks, Thomas. I want to make sure you guys can still hear me. Yeah, but if I'm gonna be frozen. 
frozen on this spot right here now because if it's frozen on the same spot that it is there uh, then uh, it's frozen with me showing split second which is pretty awesome uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. silver like video <clears throat> so this has gotten into podcast territory so if you did not get any of the 101 films 13 Wolfman check them out uh, the sale how do I refresh on this thing <laughs> 